Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Here is part two to the first question about spirit guides. So second question in connection to this was, can people that we knew in life, can they take on a role of a guardian angel or a spirit guide? And absolutely yes would be the answer. Absolutely yes they can, if they are first of all able, and then if they so desire. So for example, if somebody, say your grandfather passes over and you were very close and they really wanted to ensure that they could still be a deep part of your life, a deep connection, they will take on a legitimate role as like a spirit guide or guardian angel for you for the rest of your lifetime, where it becomes part of their priority to look out for you and interact with you regularly versus say that same grandfather passed away but was like, you know what, they don't need my help that specifically, I will just check on them periodically. And that's when we have just, you know, visitations, kind of check-ins, that kind of thing, versus taking the role of, you know, day-to-day -day guardianship. So that can definitely happen. Um, also, if the spirit, when they cross over, doesn't have a significant amount of healing that they have to do and, you know, pull different soul aspects together and mend and heal and try and understand things, then they are ready and available to be a guide to you. And what's interesting I've noticed in sessions over the last while is more and more spirits, once they cross over, are taking on the role of guardian angels, spirit guides for people that they were incarnated with. And when I asked why, when I asked why this was the case, I had the neatest answer. And they said, they are taking on that role because they are the best interpreter of the human experience of that person. So say we use a grandfather and a grandson. The grandson is still here, grandfather passes over. Because he knew the grandson in life and interacted that with him in this 3D realm, he understands how his soul moves through his body uh, and experiences and expresses itself. He understands the human ego mind of his grandson. He understands his likes and dislikes by being kind of in the experience with him versus the view from our spirit guides, which is observing, always looking upon versus interacting with. It's different when you interact in 3D. So that's why more and more guides are coming up from having had a human experience with the person, which is so cool because again, it's more effective and efficient um, translation essentially of what's happening in the physical to what's happening in spirit. And so they can really help to pinpoint things for you or speak on your behalf. So an example of this is you could be going through a really challenging, tough lesson and spirit's like, no, they wanted to learn this lesson. We have to stick to the plan. Say it's like that. You could have this grandfather say, you know what? This plan's actually not working because I know how it affects them from the human side. This doesn't work. We need to scrap this plan. We need to do this instead they'll have a council meeting and then they might change their plan on your behalf. So it's really cool when you get that kind of behind the scenes example of it. So I hope that helps explain it a little bit. If you feel that you lost somebody, they crossed over, but you feel like they're a spirit guide, trust that they are because they most likely are. This is such a cool thing that's happening right now as we move through our ascension on the planet. So it's, it's beautiful. Embrace it, believe it, trust it, and move forward with the support that you have.